Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video I show you a new feature rolled out in these days by Microsoft called SharePoint Site Templates. Now you can boost the creation of your SharePoint site reusing an existing template. There are a bunch of templates, for example department, event planning, project management, training and courses, new employee onboarding and so on. I'll show you every new template and how you can apply a template to an existing SharePoint communication or team site. Ok, let's jump in and I show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have office.com in the browser open. I will click now on SharePoint because I want to create a new communication site and then I will apply an existing site template provided by Microsoft. Let's click on SharePoint and then I am an admin here, so I have the option to create a new site. Click on Create Site, then I will select Communication Site, Onboarding, then select the language will be English, and Finish. Here we go, my communication site is just created. I will apply an existing site template. All I need to do is go over the wheel icon Settings, and then there is the new item available here in the menu, apply a site template. Clicking on it, this drop me in this panel. First of all, we can see that there are two tabs. In the first one, there are all templates provided by Microsoft. In from your organization, as you can imagine, you can upload and create all your custom templates. Let's go now with Microsoft. So there are a bunch of existing templates here. We have Crisis Management, Department, Leadership Connection, Learning Central, New Employee Onboarding, Showcase, Topic and Black. I will set Onboarding. As you can imagine, I decided to assign this title because I wanted to apply this template. Then I will click on the button Details and this drop me on this page which is the preview of this template. I have additional information. I can see the description of this template, guide new employees through your organization's onboarding process, site capabilities, emphasize team values and initiatives, and so on. So here there is a scroll bar so I can see the entire welcome page, how it looks like. So it looks perfect for my use case. Then I will click on the button Use Template. And here we go, there is this progress bar that tell me when the template will be applied. And here we go on my new onboarding communication site. It looks really nice. After a refresh of the page, I can see the entire site with the new template applied. So there are all links inside of this welcome page. And on top, there is this navigation. Now I want to open the settings because I want to go in the site contents. Just to show you that this template has created in the site pages some samples, some page samples. And here we go, I have priorities, who we are, FAQ, our leadership getting started and onboarding home. This is the home site, there is also the Templates folder, this means that there is an, a new page template applied. We can try this new page template by going uh, on the home page, then I will click on the new button, page, and now look at this, I have this new template available, new hire introduction. So clicking on it, I can see the preview of this page template. I will click on cancel and this is the template just applied. The process is very super fast and it's only available for owner. Changing perspective, I am now connected as Adele Vans. Clicking on the share button, we can see that the owner is Giuliano and as member there is Adele Vans. Now, if I want to try to apply a new template by clicking on the wheel icon in the top right corner, we can see that this option is not available. Here I am in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to apply now an existing template for a SharePoint team site. I will target this team, Project Drone X. 
Clicking on the files, I'm able to open this team in SharePoint. And here we go, this is the team site. In order to apply the template, you have to click on the wheel icon and you will find Apply a Site Template. For our SharePoint team site, you have other templates. You have even planning, project management, training and courses, training and development team, team collaboration. Let's go with this project management. Here again, we have a recap and a preview of this template. I can scroll a little bit down to have the full overview of the welcome page. And here, as always, I have the site capabilities. I will apply now this template. So I will click on the Use Template button. And here we go, the process is completed. It takes just some seconds. And let me go on the home page. This is the fantastic and gorgeous home site of this template. There is no navigation here. I can click on the wheel icon in, and go in site contents just to see if there are additional pages added. Clicking on site pages, there are no other pages. There is just one, which is the project home, but I have the folder templates. This means that there is a page template applied for this site. Let me jump back on the home page click on the new button and page. And this is the page template that comes with this site template. And it's called the status report template. And here we go. This is the template that you can reuse when you create new page on this site. All right, we have seen in this video how to use site templates in SharePoint in order to boost the creation of your SharePoint site reusing existing templates. If you enjoyed the video and if you like this feature, give a like to the video and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.